there welcome to the channel or welcome back i'm angela and in this channel i share with you guys everything that's going on in the garden and i've kind of been doing since i've gotten back into this uh this year doing like little little clips every day of everything i'm doing garden related and then compile it all into a weekly summary we have had so much rain here this past week that i haven't done anything garden related so today i really need to get out here with this gorgeous day get to doing some garden cleanup and then see where i go from there i got to get it all ready for the seedlings to go in very soon so if you want to hang out with me while i clean this place up a little bit let's get to it
Okay, I think I've gone about as far as I can go today because I only had the four bags of mulch and I can see a Home Depot trip in my future today or tomorrow. I'm on a roll and I just want to get this done. However, I have used up the last of my cardboard. I have a feeling that lawnmower is going to be really loud in this video and I apologize for that. But um, in, case, in case I was like drowned out by the lawnmower, I'm pretty much at a stopping point right now with mulching just because I ran out of mulch. And also I'm out of cardboard. And just a word about the cardboard, anytime we get a big delivery here at the house or at work even, I will like scrounge up any large-ish sheets of cardboard that I can find because they do make a nice underlayment for the mulch. And I do prefer to use cardboard because it's biodegradable. And I realize that that means that I'll have to re-mulch every few years, but any section that gets mulched with a couple layers of thick cardboard underneath usually is good for about three years. In my experience, I have used, um, sorry about the camera. I have used um, the landscape fabric, the black plasticky stuff, and I prefer to not use that. There are some situations in which I'm good to use it or think it's appropriate, but just for me personally, what I found is that I could lay out that like a whole sheet of that nicely or a whole area, just lay that out and then mulch it really good. And then in a few years, the weeds still come back. They always come back because dirt and whatnot gets washed on top of the landscape fabric. And then you end up in the same situation, but now you've got this landscape fabric that will never degrade and I mean it might break down into smaller like pieces of itself but it's not going to biodegrade per se and then uh, and then you've got that like kind of stuck in the earth so with some exceptions I just choose to use cardboard and the other thing I'm planning to do today is to try to get my onion seedlings in one of the beds hang on lawnmower is back Okay, the man's out there mowing today and he mows about mm, two-ish acres of the property. The rest of it's wooded or there's a big pond on the property, but it takes a little while to mow all that. So kind of stuck with the noise for a little bit. So I apologize for that. Anyway, I'm going to try to get some onion seedlings into one of the beds today. Um, I'll show you where those are going to go and I'll show you how the mulched over area looks after my work today. And of course, um, if you follow along next week, I'll be um, carrying on with all the springtime garden activities. And for now, I'm gonna show you where the onions are gonna go. Let's go look at that. Okay, so this is what I've done. And the house is there for reference. And I just came from the shed porch where I was sitting. So all I really got done was this little strip right here and I'll kind of go to a different viewpoint, give you a different view and you can see it a little better. And I have to say that a fresh layer of mulch looks so nice. And I tried to do it pretty thick because I want this to last for quite a while. And this was the last of my cardboard. So I'm gonna to have to be a little cardboard scrounger soon I, we ha we recycle cardboard at work all the time so i'll just raid our little cardboard closet and pick up all the unwanted cardboard they don't mind as long as it's you know going to a good use they don't care uh yeah so that's what i've done and then the onion seedlings are earmarked for this first bed here and this bed that the sidewalls and the, the four by fours kind of rotted out a long time ago and we've been meaning to rebuild it, but you know, there's always so much on the project list and that is just a low priority because I can still plant in it. It's still like, you know, a raised mound of dirt, so it still works. And surprisingly, this kale here, in the second bed. Um, I planted that in the fall. It lasted all through the winter. And granted, we did not have like a real harsh winter, but we did have, you know, quite a few sub, sub freezing temperature days and it's just held up. I was harvesting it for a while and I haven't touched this for several months now. So I'm so impressed with how well this is done. And I've got some weeds here that I'll have to be getting to 
And other than that, my plans for, you know, the remaining changes I want to make out here this spring, other than the areas I showed you back there, I'm still kind of planning to rotate these two long beds here. These two are three foot by 12 foot. There's the mower again. I'm sorry, I'm trying to get really close to the, the camera. So maybe all you'll hear is my voice. So they're just gonna be rotated 90 degrees, go, uh, you know, the other way, parallel to the house. And I had started to get all the soil out of this one last year and I got a good chunk. I just really need to get enough out of there so that we can lift the bed up and resituate it. But I, of course, still need to get at least half the soil out of that one so we can, you know, lift it up off the ground and it not be held fast by the soil. Um, just a lot of weeding to go on, you know, all the cleanup things in the spring. Take a look at my oak leaf hydrangeas. I planted these last fall. There's four of them. So they're coming back really nicely. And my goal for these along this side wall of the house is for them to fill all this in so you don't see as much of you know the ugly concrete foundation there and i kind of did the same there's another little eyesore place that we'll clean up around the corner in the back of the house i've got um different kind of hydrangeas there so let's go take a look at those i haven't even looked at those in quite a while so i don't know how they're doing they've been here for a couple of years and they're starting to come back they get the morning sun here and not much else at least these three on the very back of the house and then this one and this one will get um kind of full sun throughout the day we're working to kind of clean up this area in the very back because i'd like to you know make this into a little patio type area not a patio but just a place where you can sit and you know enjoy looking at the woods which unfortunately is mostly honeysuckle these days. Our property line stops like pretty, pretty short. So most of that, all of that, we don't, it's not ours. So I can't really get in there and start taking out the honeysuckle and taking out the few of the ones that are here in front of, you know, at the property edge kind of seems futile when the whole woods are filled with it, but it is taking over the woods. So it's a little bit alarming, but I do have my onions out here. They're still in their little seed trays. Uh, they've been acclimating for quite a while. They've been out here for a while. So they definitely need to get into the ground soon. So I'll be working on that today and you know, maybe tomorrow. But walking back up, have the land kind of dips down right there. We have a walkout basement in the back. Um, yeah, you can see the garden at large. We're definitely gonna be setting in more four by four by 10 posts. Those are 10 foot tall so that they can go into the ground two feet for stability. And we should have like this whole side of the fence done soon. We're kind of, um, slow just because we always have like five million irons in the fire like everybody these days that's about it for this week this is a uh, sunday i don't think i ever said the date this is sunday april 14th so i am going to go ahead and sign off and i will talk to you again next weekend i hope that i'll have more to share with you happy gardening to you thanks for keeping me company while i work in my garden bye